I wanted to do three different brows I was using three different products so I went brow using um, pomade one brow using pencil and one brow using powder so I'm actually wearing two different brows right now um, I have one pencil on and one pomade on so I wanted to just show y'all that it could really could like if you just forget your pomade or your powder or any of the three you can really just kind of achieve the same brow with a little bit of cleanup and a little bit of like the same technique um you really could do your brows however let me know if you like this video if you do go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel to get notified so thank you so much thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy this tutorial bye I already have a um, product on my brow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and wipe it off. I'm just gonna take like a wipey, just so we can start fresh, so y'all can see. This is really all just powder, but I wanna show y'all my like shape that I had before. Well, yeah, natural brows right here. Just wanna put on top so it can blend in. So it's not just so bare <laughs> and red looking but kind of just cancels out that color so this is my brow shape mm -hmm. yeah I'm gonna start off by using a pomade this is the lid so mm -hmm. that's what I'm gonna be using to fill in my brows this is the first brow that I'll be doing so I'm gonna go ahead and take two this is my morphe one six five so it's just a flat angled brush it's my favorite to do brows with so let's jump in let's get started let me show you how to try to fix these well I'm really good I'm really gonna start right here like center and I really just want to draw just kind of take whatever is left and push it towards the front go up with it so now I'm gonna take that top so really I don't want to go any further I don't want to make my brows look extra bigger than they usually they regularly are so I'm just gonna take Again, that top and just a line as well. I try, this is just the easiest that I've, the easiest way that I've shaped my brows with the shape that I have going on. So I'm just gonna go kind of curve this a little bit further than it naturally is. Fill those in. I like to take whatever and flatten this brush so you can see right here I'm gonna flatten it and just again straight kind of gives it that square shape that we're going for I'm going for <laughs> Um, but it looks really box right now. So I'm gonna go again. My tail end of my brow is so small. So I have to go in and fake it. So I'm just gonna take that edge. And really just. So. Look. That's basically how I do it. That's with pomade. So, I want to just make sure my hairs are all going in the same direction. Blend that out. I see like a little line there. I'm just going to blend that out. Okay. I really just like the way it looks. So, brow with pomade. Done. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Um, it's my paint pot. My... I'm just gonna go ahead, dip it, and so more of a close-up. I really look right here. It's a little scruffy. 
So, I'm gonna go ahead and just take um, that paint pot and really just like highlight and sculpt out. Kind of just like a little hair that's ruining my little flat surface. Let's continue on with our, um, let's do the powder brow. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. I should have ended with this brow. <laughs> but, um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this brow off. I'll do powder and then I'll end with a pencil. Okay, so basically I'm just going to go ahead and do this brow. Leave this brow the pomade so you can see the difference between the two. Um, so here I removed, but okay, same thing. Went on with the foundation powder just said it get rid of that red undertone that I had there so let's go ahead and get started with this one this um yeah it comes with a little brush too but I just feel like the brush is a little bit fluffier and it's not really going to give me like this clean brow that I want so I'm just going to go ahead I'm probably going to do this one just because it matches my hair really well so does this one too the beauty gems one I've tried it before um, and I just kind of mix the two to get my combination because this is dark, but it really looks pretty. Like it looks now in the camera looks like a gray tone, but it's really pretty. This one I'm gonna start at the line because the powder it's not as harsh as a pomade. So draw it out that line. This is the thing about powder you kind of have to like just keep really dipping. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that top and just follow that line just so I have my shape that I know I want and you could see too like I kind of already covered it but my tail end and then this corner part doesn't really have a lot of hair so I have to really fake those as well so I'm just going to go in, fill in, pick up that powder. And I really just feel like drawing two lines at the top and at the bottom really just make the rest easy. So... And I don't really like to fill in to where you can't see. Like, even with the pomade, like, you can still see all my hairs. And I really, that's the way I like it. I really don't want it to be, like, too dark, too filled in to where it looks too dramatic. So, Something's in my eyelash. Has it been there this whole time? I bet that's so annoying. No, still there. Okay, so tail end. Tail end's always hard. So I'm gonna pick up um, another, like a mirror. And just kind of like push it. We'll flick it. Just kind of like flick the end. So powder brow versus pomade yeah you just feel like the powder is looking a little sloppy and paint your paint pot from MAC and really just clean it up uh, wherever you feel like if it went a little bit under over it looks a little like fluffy <laughs> I feel like powders brows kind of look fluffy if that makes sense but um, okay so I would just take Again. My brows wax. I'm very nervous about it. I just, I've heard so many bad stories that I'm just like, I'd rather not even try it. So, uh, one time, my aunt took me to go get it, then threaded. That's the very first time that I had ever done anything to my brows, and they shoot. 
the lady just really cleaned it up. So ever since then, I would just tweeze because I really don't grow too much brow hair. Like, as you can see, my hair's already sparse as it is, so I don't really do too much. Don't really need to. Okay, so brow done. So, like, could you even tell that I had two different brows on? <laughs> But um, kind of just trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and take. Which one should I take off? I really don't want to take either of them off. But I want to show you how I do with pencil too, and even like a little pencil. I usually use a Merle Norman pencil, but I'm out of it. I'm super sad. I'll show you kind of what it looks like right now. They really don't want to take the pomade on off. So I'll take I'll take this one off. I'll take the powder one off. Let's go ahead and do that, and then. Um, I'll show you how you do a pencil brow. So. With just of whatever's left, again, on my uh, foundation brush uh, from this morning. So I'm just going to, just so it has that color back again. Faded already, but let's just go ahead. It's either way, we can go ahead and clean it up. So, okay, I kind of already messed up because it's a little bit thicker, but don't worry about that. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to take that pencil and just... And just draw out those lines. I kind of want to stay away from that point that I told you that I like to do. Um, I'll just leave it at that and really let my uh, my brush do that point. Just because it's so thin, it really just makes an effortless point. Um, and I'm just picking up that product that I had uh, that you get from this it really just like smooths it out and flick off so there's kind of like a little weird. It's not as smooth as like what I'm used to. The automatic fine brow um, really is like a smooth cream pencil if that makes sense but we can still make it work so I'm just gonna fade that in the front a little bit more and I might clean this one up at the top I really don't like to do um I can probably flick it this one would have... all right or do that. I just flicked the end real quick. I just want it to be a little bit more like natural looking, even though they're really not natural looking. Um, but so this is the final look again two different brows but i just want to show y'all the difference like there really isn't much of a difference um whether you're using a pomade a powder or a pencil so i'm probably gonna leave them like this just they look same color <laughs> but um thank you all for watching so yeah